All right, gang, we're going to evaluate the integral of x to the fourth times e to the negative ax squared from zero to infinity. This is a long integral, but we're going to do it very quickly, and I hope you appreciate it. And just note, I got many modifications of this integral, so check those out as well. Now, we're going to use integration by parts, but first, we're going to split up the x to the fourth into x cubed times x right here. I'll show you why we did that in a minute. This is our integration by parts right here, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Now, we're going to set u equal to x cubed, which is, which is this part right right here. So using the power rule, du equals 3x squared dx, and now dv is going to equal everything else. dv is everything else right here. And now the integral of this, we'll use substitution. Now I did a, a video, it's like a three minute video on how to do this step by step. So you can check that out, but I hope you can appreciate that if you do the derivative of this, you'll get this part right here. Okay, so we're going to substitute this into integration by parts. This is our u, x cubed. This is our v that we just evaluated. The limits don't change because we're still in terms of x. And now we have the integral of v. This is our v. And then our du is this part right here that we substituted into. Okay, so this left-hand term, this is called the boundary term. This is now... Mathematicians don't like plugging in infinity because infinity is a concept, not a number. But think of it as a variable that goes to infinity. Now the denominator goes to infinity faster than the numerator, so this is zero, and then we have zero in the numerator, so this side's zero as well, so this whole thing is zero. Now to evaluate this right-hand term, we're going to first clean it up. The negatives cancel to become positive, and then the three over two a gets yanked out of the integral because it's constant, and now we just have the integral of this, of x squared times e to the negative ax squared dx. Now I split the x squared up into x times x for the same reason why I split this this one up. So we can do uh, integration by parts and a substitution. So we're going to set u equal to x, and therefore du equals the dx, and now dv is going to equal to everything else, which is this. This is our dv, everything else, and the integral of dv is v. The integral of this is exactly what we did. See this? This is the exact same form. So you can check out my video, or we just do a simple substitution because um, the derivative is here of the exponent or close to the derivative, just off by a constant. And anyways, we're going to substitute that in to do our integration by parts equation, where our 3 over 2a comes along for the ride. This is our u right here, which is the x. This is the v part, and we're going to go from 0 to infinity. This negative comes from this negative of the v when we plug it in. And now the 3 over 2a comes along for the ride, and then this is our v right here. This is our v, uh, and du, du is also equal to dx. Okay, now this right-hand side, this limit looks almost exactly the same as this limit, right? It's basically the same. Uh, this this uh, term's going to go to zero, and this term's going to go to zero as right as well as as we go to infinity or as we go to zero. So this whole thing goes to zero. This right-hand side, I'm going to clean it up. So the three is here. The two twos multiply to get two or four, and then the two a's multiply to get x squared, and now we're left with this. Oh, and the negatives cancel to become positive. Now, this the integral of this Gaussian function, it's not an easy integral. Well, it's easy if you know it. Uh, I made a video on it. It's uh, about a three-minute video or so. Uh, this equals to one-half root pi over a. You can check that out on how I did that, but that's what it is. So that means this whole term, if we multiply these two together, we get three root pi over 8 a squared because 4 times 2 is 8 a squared over root 8 and that's our integral so the integral of x to the fourth times e to the negative ax squared from 0 to infinity is 3 root pi over 8 a squared root a all right y'all good luck on your midterms final exams assignments all that stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers